TV, living a life of power. I can see my beautiful wife. Hallelujah. I am convinced that not all angels have wings. Ah, Hallelujah. Power lady. Some angels come putting on Brazilian. Some angels come putting on stiletto. I thank God for the angel that was sent to my life. Help me celebrate. Yeah? Uh -huh. Too much sauce. Power lady. Are you ready for the word of today? Oh yes, Papa. Can you show me your Bible before you take your seats? I want to see your Bible. Do you have it? Check your neighbor. Does your neighbor have a Bible? Say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. God's special gift. God's special gift. To my life. To our life. I believe. We believe. Every word written in this book. Every word written in this book. I believe. I believe that it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. That it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Say, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord Jesus. I am. I am. What this word says I am. What this word says I am. Say I can do. I can do. What this word says I can do. What this word says I can do. Say in this service. In this service. I open my heart. I open my heart. To receive your word. Receive your word. Transform me. Transform me. Renew my mind. Renew my mind. With your word. With your word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You've made that prayer celebrate Jesus. Let me hear your noise. Oh, yes. I want you to go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter number 10. Ecclesiastes chapter number 10 verse number 19 Praise the Lordship you are doing a wonderful work you are doing a wonderful work may the Lord continue to bless you make a joyful noise for this wonderful team oh, yes. are you there? Ecclesiastes chapter number 10 I want you to pick it from verse Number 19. Ecclesiastes chapter number 10. I want you to pick it from verse number 19. If you are there, you say, I am there. I want us to read it all like soldiers on top of your voice. You read it like a soldier. You read it like a member of Power Life Ministries. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three, go. again let our reader read it for us let our reader read it for us thank you papa for this opportunity to read the bible yes i will read from the book of Ecclesiastes 10 from verse 19 a feast is made for latter wine makes life merry and money is the answer for everything and money is, is the, the answer, answer for everything for everything let us repeat it for the last time everybody and money and money is the answer for everything i'm waiting for someone and money and money is the answer for everything for the last time on top of your voice and money and money is the answer for everything. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. yes.
I'm so much honored to be in this place and to see what God is doing. Hallelujah. And I believe that each time you come to hear the word of God, something is changing in your life. Oh, yes, Papa. Hallelujah. Amen. You can never sit under the word of God and remain the same. I say you can never listen to the word of God and remain the same. Oh, yes. I say you can never be in an atmosphere of the word and remain the same. Oh, yes. May this word change your life in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I say may this word change your situation in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Now, I want to continue with where we left last week. How many are learning the word in this place? Are you learning? Are you blessed? Yes. How to break the yoke of poverty? How to break the yoke of poverty? Last week I told you how powerful this demon is. The demon of poverty can make international champions to die like local champions. I decree and declare as you listen to this word in this atmosphere, you shall not die a local champion in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to. I say you will not die a local champion. Oh, yes, Papa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Say, I hate poverty. I hate poverty. Say, I hate poverty. I hate poverty. There's an anointing so strong in power life in this month of June. Oh, yes. The anointing of cash. Oh, yes. I, am. I say the anointing of cash. Oh, yes, Papa. I say the anointing of cash. I receive. It's being released upon your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. The Bible says there is an error that I saw under the sun. Kings are walking on foot. Yet servants are sitting on horsebacks. The children of God are struggling. Yet drug dealers are living a life. That error can be corrected in this atmosphere. Oh, yes, Papa. I say that error can be corrected in this atmosphere. Oh, yes, Papa. You see a drunkard after spending hours in the nightclub, they are struggling to walk. If you follow them, they are going into an AMG but yet drunk. How much more you who are drunk in the Holy Ghost? Oh, yes. Our power must change hands. Oh, yes. I say power must change hands. Oh, yes. Prosperity should begin in the house of God. Oh, yes. Breakthroughs should begin in the house of God. I prophesy, may someone under the sound of my voice I be see. located by this action for prosperity. Yes. I say be located by this action for prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Someone is asking me, why are we talking about money and not talking about going to heaven? Why? Why are we talking about money? Not talking about going to heaven. If you get into a flight that goes to India, they will program the flights in a way that will allow you to eat in the flight, though you're going to India. Ah. So it's not about the destination. On your way to the destination, God doesn't want you to struggle. On your way to heaven, God doesn't want you to remain a lodger. Oh, yes. On your way to heaven, God wants you to have a better life. 
and fathers in this afternoon. I want to tell you that we are an airplane that is going to happen. We are in an airplane that is going to New Jerusalem. But before we reach there, we have a life that we must live on this earth. We have houses that we must build in this earth. We have blessings that we are supposed to have on this earth. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. If you are listening to me and you are receiving, you are not going to heaven with an empty account. You are not going to heaven with an empty pocket. Oh, yes. If your amen is louder than the, loud, the amen of your neighbor, amen. May you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Is I, if I am me. I'm this way that would think and I got your book. I'm not going to heaven broke. It's for me. And this way that we end that I'm not past. going to heaven Celebrate when I've Jesus suffered on this earth. This the gospel is for free, but how we bring it to you needs money. Ah, yeah. For us to have a good venue, it is money. For you to be seated on that chair, it is money. For me to be looking good like this, it is money. For people to watch us on Power Life TV, it is money. For your neighbor to have come to church today, it is money. May you receive more money. I receive it, Papa. I say, may you receive more money. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Money is not everything. But everything needs money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is why I told you last week and I said with the anointing, you can go far, far but money will take you further. Oh, yes. May you get the money to take you further in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Now, one son came to me and my beautiful wife. You see, there are sons like Nicodemus that come in the night. Everyone is not there. They don't want the camera. And when he came, he said, Men of God, I'm not feeling my wife these days. And I said, This one doesn't want me alone. Let me call Mama so that we listen to this story together. I called the woman of God who said, said she, she's not beautiful the way I want. The smell she has, I don't like it. My wife looks scruffy. Even at work, I am ashamed to go with her. I looked at my wife like this and we said, Chai! Say, Chai! Chai! And I said, this story is too big for me. Let me hear prophetess first. Let me hear her speak before I answer. The woman of God looked at me. She asked one question to this son of mine. And she says, she said, how much money do you give your wife every month. Oh. Oh. Just look at your neighbor. I'm talking to some people here. Mm. <laughs> and I saw the, the man, the son, there was dead silence in the room. That is, he began to say, Mama, pray for me, things are not... The woman of God said, you have not yet answered my question. Yeah. Yeah. You are trying to run away from the major question. Yeah. How much do you give here per month? Yeah. The problem with Christian men. Can I tell you the problem with Christian oh, men? Oh, yes, Papa. They think money... They think that the money they are working for is, is being eaten in the mules or in the house. What do you like here? I give you everything here. That's Sada with vegetables. If you want her to smell good, give her money. 
yeah, 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 yeah. If she want her to look good, give her money. Oh, yes. If she want her to dress good, give her money. Ah. Money is a beautifier. Am I communicating to men and oh, women? Oh, yes, Papa. Just look at your neighbor and say, give them money. <laughs> ah, I'm dealing with major issues here. Oh, yes. Papa. Say, Papa. Can I tell you, it's simple. What these women want, it's simple. <laughs> tell them, Papa. Give you money. After giving you money, give you more money. Ah. Ah. Oh, yes. I wish I wish women were celebrating more. If you want her to be light, give her money. If you want her to be beautiful, give her money. If you want her to smell good, give her money. If you see any woman living like a queen, know that in her life there is a responsible king. True, true, Papa. Power. Do I have the church here? Do I have the oh, church Oh, yes. Can I teach you secrets here? Teach us I major. Can I teach you secrets here? Teach us I papa. If you ever want a blessing financially if you're married in your marriage, I want you to plan together. Huh? Yeah. I want you to plan together. There are, there are husbands who are here that that work that wakes up at night. The man would put under the, the pillow. Up to now, the mother of the pay sleep. I have houses that I'm correcting here. You'll be hard not to crack. And the man is, is kept in the sock. If you want your, your marriage to be blessed, whenever you get money, your wife should know that you have money and that you have I have a husband and wife that I'm speaking to today. If you want God to bless you when you receive your money. Personally, I know I have a weakness. My weakness is my heart is too good. If I'm having a thousand dollars and I'm driving from town to home, I'll meet someone by the robot and I give hundred. When I'm pouring fuel, someone will say, Prophet, how are you? I'll give 50. The time I'm, I arrive home, maybe I'll be having 600. And I knew that this is my weakness. But when God gave me a helper, my helper is a doctor. Oh, yes. God saw that in the issues of man, empowerment is give a wife that would treat that sickness. Why is it that you don't want to be? If you are married, give your wife the opportunity to treat you. That's why you see that when you, when you know, before you marry, you used to get money. But your life was not in order. Whilst you are getting the money, you are sleeping on the floor. Whilst you are getting money, you had no wardrobe to put on your clothes. Whilst you had money, you'd... Whilst you get money, you use a panic to iron your clothes. Up until Dr. Wawuya wanonzi mudzimai. 
up to the time that Do you that's when your life began to be order. Do I have a church that I'm speaking to today? I have a church that I'm speaking to today. So give that doctor an opportunity. Doctor, this is what we have. Mama, this is what we have. Remove your tithe together. I'm talking to the church here. Yes. After removing your tithe, plan your bills together. After planning, save some money for emergence together. Then the rest, you say, Doctor, this is yours for the man. Ah. Oh, yes. Am I communicating to people here? Yes, Papa. Lift up your head. Say, I decree and declare. I decree. As this word is coming to me. As this word is coming to me. My heart is ready to receive this word. My heart is ready to receive this word. Clap your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together. So I want you to plan together, especially if you're married. Give together. And if you want her to look good, give her money. Not only money and more money. Now where we have read the Bible says, but money answers all things. Money answers all things. Money answers all things. Money answers all things. Now listen to me. There are certain petitions you have that are not answered by prayer and fasting. That are answered by money. May that money that you need for your prayer to be answered be released in this month of June. Oh yes. You didn't hear what I said there. I say me that money that you need. Oh yes. For your fasting to be answered. Ah. For your sleepless nights of prayer to be answered. Oh yes. Radika paladosh katala abrediato. I receive. In this month of June, may that money be released. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Someone came to me and my wife and said, "Man of God, I just finished." days fasting and we looked at the men and asked what are you fasting for 50 days drinking water what are you fasting for the guy said I am fasting for Lobola money and as my wife we looked at him we said how much do you, how much is the Lobola money that you even take 50 days for are you fasting for the anointing? Are you fasting to start your ministry? Money, 50 days. The guy said, I need a thousand US dollars. I said, I'm coming. I went into my bedroom. There is a safe with some secret code. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Took out the thousand. This is what you are fasting for. Certain things you are fasting for. You are making noise for God. All you need is a breakthrough that will answer that prayer. Oh, yes. May that capital be released in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I don't like that. Amen. I say, may that capital oh, yes. be released in the name of Jesus. I receive it. That money you need for the visa. Oh, yes. That money you need for that stand. I receive it. That money you need for that capital. I receive it. May someone be raised to answer that prayer. Oh, in yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Are not answered by prayer, they are answered by money. I went to my mentor one time crying. Said ministry is not moving. Before we were here, things were not well. You hear? Things were not well. 
my mentor took me to a certain place of prayer told me to kneel down and he said to me son I am unlocking a blessing of money over your life ah. and he spoke certain words to me he said the same way you bought buses in Zimbabwe is the same way you shall board aeroplanes. Ah. Is someone's prophecy that is also connected? I receive it. The same way you are using Zupco right now. That same way. Oh yes. I say that same way. Oh yes. You shall move to fly to different countries. I receive. Is this your prophecy and your own declaration? I receive it. From that time, my life opened up. Put people of my age, we are different. Put people I studied with, I may cut above the rest. Because something came upon me. Something is about to come upon you this afternoon. Oh, yes. You shall, they shall not compete with you. Oh, yes. I said they shall not compete with you. Oh, yes. You shall be ten times better than your family members. Oh, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. yes. Now, for everything in the word of God, there are keys. There are keys to the prophetic. There are keys to the supernatural. There are keys that will show you how to prophesy. And when it comes to money, money has got its keys. And this service, I want to teach you few keys that God gave me, few secrets that God gave me towards money. Can I teach you? Oh, yes. Can I break it to your level? Oh, yes. Can I break it to your level? Oh, yes. What is so surprising about money? Money, it doesn't follow faces. Huh? Money doesn't look at a face. This is why you see most handsome guys are broke. <laughs> you look at a man and say, with how handsome he is, maybe there is something. You see that he's handsome but doesn't have a cent in his pocket. This does not qualify you for money. Good English does not qualify you for money. Am I communicating to someone? Oh, yes. Am I communicating to someone? Yes, Papa. One guy told me years ago, I was still growing up. I look at you, what did you know? What's that? He told me the truth that broke my heart. And those days I was into karate. Gymming some ways. Working on a six pack. Then my teacher told me the most hateful truth. If you want to have money, Money does not look on the six pack. Invest in your brain, not in your in your muscles. Am I communicating to someone? The first secret I want to tell you about money. I want you to have a prophet. If you want money, I want you to have a prophet. Not only have a prophet, I want you to be close. Let our reader read it for us quickly. Second Chronicles, chapter number 20. Quickly go there. I want you to watch something. Second Chronicles, chapter number 20, verse number 20. Listen carefully. Thank you, Papa, for this opportunity to read the word of God. I will read from the book of Second Chronicles. Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 20. Early in the morning, they left for the desert of Tekoa. 
As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me. Listen to me. Judah and the people. Judah. Uh -huh. Of Jerusalem. Yes. Have faith in the Lord your God. Have faith in the Lord your God. And you will be upheld. And you will be established or upheld. Have faith in his prophets. Have faith in power. Sorry. Have ah. faith in his prophets. Oh, yes. And you will be successful. And you shall prosper. Yes. If you want prosperity, everyone who has prospered in this life, they have a spiritual backup. This is why in the demonic world, they understand That I cannot be a great businessman without a babalago. They will have a babalago, a sangoma. You will see a jeep packed in airport. An old man removing his Prada shoes. He will do like this, his trousers to here. He will enter into a house that is like a squatter camp. A general manager, a CEO. He will humble himself to a grandfather, an old man that doesn't know how to brush his teeth. The Sangoma. Because they knew that this life is spiritual. You can never rise above ranks without a spiritual back. I have a church that I'm teaching to today. You can never prosper in this life. Whether in business, whether in ministry, you can never prosper without your prophet. You will see the CEO who will sit under an uneducated witch doctor. Sit on the floor. At home you have a couch for 4.5 but here you sit on the floor. Submission to a spiritual rank. And you hear the Sangoma saying, Bring me water. And you see the Sangoma drinking water and rinsing his dirty mouth, spitting onto the face of a millionaire. The millionaire is comfortable because they understand that for me to get where I am, I need a spiritual beggar. Child of God, we are living in evil days. Same people you are doing business with, they are using juju and charms. This is why you don't need to go into business battles alone. You need a voice that is authentic. You need a voice that is prophetic. Oh yes. You need a voice that can go ahead of that deal before you sign that deal. Oh you yes. Need a blessing of your prophet. Oh yes. Power. Your prophet is your prophet. You need a prophet that can tell you, my son, where you are going, you are about to fall into a ditch. She are my child. Or my daughter. Unoita business. Mporofita asiri involved. You do a business that is not involved with your prophet. You have the guts to go to the war without guns. This word is evil. You need a voice of your prophet. Listen to me, money is spiritual. It follows those with a spiritual backup. I decree and declare as your personal prophet. Oh, yes. If people have family doctors, I decree and declare as your family prophet. I receive. May this anointing be your divine backup. I in receive. the name of Jesus. I receive. I don't like the way you are receiving. I say may this anointing oh, oh, yes. Yes. be your cover in your business. Oh, I receive in the name of Jesus. I, I receive. receive. Amen is louder than the amen of your neighbor. Amen. Oh, amen.
Ei. Vida nem morte. Recebe. God is a God of principles. Mm. Whether a believer follows a principle or a non-believer follows a principle, God is faithful to the principle. This is why you see Muslims are very rich. Do you know why they prosper? It's because they believe in Muhammad, their prophet. You touch their prophet by mistake, they will kill you by correction. If God wants to bless you, he sends a man. And it is your duty to defend a man that God has sent in your life. If the devil wants to attack you, he attacks your prophet. Before he sees you, he sees your prophet acting as your bodyguard. Power, teach us, I papa. I'm raising a church that shall say, You touch my prophet with disconnect. You speak evil about my prophet, I leave you because my prophet is my prophet. Oh, yes, Lift up your right and say, My prophet, my prophet is my prophet, is my prophet. One time, my daughter she shared a testimony here. I was asleep. My angel. I don't want to share secrets here. You have an angel next to you, sir. Huh? And I have my angel here. So for me to know what is happening to your life, it is your angel that communicates to my angel. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you know what even Wagandinya? Do you know that if you gossip about me, angels give me real time information. You are in your house. I am in my house. Tango kwenyanze. Then wadariri kum wadariri kum diko na. Adariri kum lita wey. Why is she doing that? I'm at Asimilosi. my house eating sada, but Yang my angel and your angel are best friends. I communicated to someone. Oh, yes. So I'm sleeping. The angel of that daughter came to my angel. And I'm here watching them speaking. The same angel is saying, Do you know that your daughter is about to be crooked on her money that she invested? Angel mentioned even the, the amount of money around 5,000 US dollars. Going down right now. Then my angel touched me, then I woke up. I told the woman of God, call this daughter now. Tell that when, if there is a person who went to buy things even if she's South Africa even if she she has reached South Africa she's she's not supposed to buy because all of her money is going to be crooked it's going down the daughter called the person that had wanted to buy things for her in South Africa but the person did not listen she continued to buy immediately when she crossed the border Police is after him. Anti corruption team after him. She's arrested and she loses all the stuff worth 5,000. When you have a prophet in your life, you have access into divine intelligence. When you have a prophet, when you have a prophet in your life, where others stop, you should not stop. Oh, yes. Your prophet is like a railway line. It goes ahead before the train comes. Yeah. There's no stage in your life that comes to you when you have a prophet that the prophet does not know of. Power. I decree and declare. Oh, yes. If you are a son of this house. Oh, yes. 
Let this unction never allow you to get losses. Oh, yes. May you never fall into ditches. Oh, yes, Papa. May you never stop where others stop. Oh, yes. Let the prophetic mantle give you divine intelligence. In oh, the name of Jesus. yes. Let the prophetic unction ah. give you an advantage in the spirit. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. So the Bible he says, believe in God and you will be established. But believe in his prophet and you shall prosper. Prepared to have money. Prospering is not difficult. Believe in the saint one. Because where you come from, they are spiritual. They do not want you to prosper. Everything that is beautiful, you see them on other people. Graduating, you see it on other people. Why is it happening to others? And to you, it does not happen. That tells us that on you, there is a, there is a spirit that follows you and which is coming from where you are coming from. But if you believe in the saint one, ah, if you believe in the one who was sent, watch this. I have got my late sister when she died she left a boy one boy called Keith huh? my own nephew that time child poverty was our community nickname when his mother died he was left my own father this other day my own father my spiritual father prophet Ethan Branson came to Zimbabwe looked at that small boy Look at this one I am adopting as my personal son. Chai. Do you know one our prophet? I I am the son of the prophet, but he left me. He took my nephew. Doctor book and day and doctor mukwiza. They booked a flight, then they boarded a plane. Tora ma bega ake ne jesi took everything of his within a time his name was changed within a time instead of calling me uncle there is a grace myself. that can locate you after spiritual oh yes oh yes oh yes within a time i'm here in zimbabwe i'm driving a fit I'm seeing my own nephew because he has been adopted. He sent him pics whilst he was on a jaguar. From the time he was ad adopted, evil spirits that were following him. There are things that happen when you believe in the prophet. Those things that said you not get married, you, you, you buy a car, you bought a place. Am I place. to someone right here? Oh, yes. As we speak, sick is the old. He's a blessed young man. Very soon, I'm sure he's starting his course to be training to be a pilot. But here in Zimbabwe, I adopt you into our blessed family. I adopt you into our blessed family. 
I adopt you into the power life family. Oh, yes. Here we live a blessed life. Oh, yes. Here we live a life of power. Oh, yes. Here we hey. hey. <laughs> Where you come from? Where you come from? A person woke up in the middle of the night. Then took a broom. Then removed clothes. Then you sit on the broom. Within a time, you you learn zaka. Can I Friday night? If it's on a Friday night. Special flight. Ask for buy your nose by child. He doesn't want to be poked with the sticks of the brown. You sit on a piece of a bread. Within a time, you reach UK. But here, I said here. I said here. I give you grace for British Airways. Oh, yes, I receive. I don't like the way you are communicating. I receive it, Papa. I give you grace for first class in the name of Jesus. I receive. I give them grace, I give them grace, I give them grace. Oh, yes. May you receive the same action I in receive, the name of Jesus. I receive it. I'm seeing children of power life. There are planes which are being booked. I'm seeing them rising, going to Dubai. Going to Tanzania. Going to Tanzania. Aha. Uh -huh. Itakwedu. Itakwedu kwa power men. Here in. Itakwedu kwa power life. Here in power life. Nobody rachete ne stara chete. Who prosper in the name of Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Oh yes. So prosperity is no longer in the hands of God. Prosperity is in the hand of His prophet. Believe in God. And you'll be established. Believe in God. And you'll be very good at quoting scriptures. Believe in God. You will pray for 10 hours. But when it comes to money, God himself said, believe in power man is prophet. Oh, yes. You cannot run away from that formula. You can have God for 10 years but still broke and God is with you. You can have God for 20 years. Putting on big sizes of suits and your hands will be covered in those suits. Behaving tongues. And when you pray, you have goosebumps and believe that God is here. But also poverty is on you. Because you believed in God, but you did not believe in the saint one. And when you believe in his prophet, you obey his instruction. When you believe in his prophet, you follow the teachings of the prophet. When you believe in the prophet of God. Oh yes. When he speaks something you listen carefully. Oh yes. Am I communicating to someone? Yes papa. I have one of my sons here. My elder here. One of these days he said something that really touched me. He said, Papa, after staying so many, spending so many hours with you, I now know that you don't only prophesy in church when you say, can I prophesy? <coughs> Even in conversations, there are times I see that this is not the man speaking. Oh, yes. This is God speaking even in ordinary conversation. Oh yes. Yes. 
you are here and you are close to me, it's very rare to say, can I prophesy to you? I'll begin to speak stories with you, share issues with you. Yet you need an ear that can hear the prophecy in a normal conversation. You need an eye that can see oh, yes. that when a prophet is moving close to you, it means that an angel is close to you. Oh, yes. You need to see beyond this short young man. See the anointing. See the anointing. Help him. Help him. She's in an operation now. When you are in a prophetic church, I don't just move. I don't just move. I don't just move. You see me walking close like this. I'm following the instruction of an angel. Feel the world with light Walking in my cause you open my side, my side, my side. Now I'm alive, alive in Christ. I will testify, testify, testify. Yes, you are a Mashiach. God is alive. International Ministry, transforming lives with God's power.